What up everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm playing on vanilla stats in solidarity with my console homies. And that's actually what I want to talk to you guys about today, the console crew. And mainly it's a issue of the experience that console gamers have when they play this versus the experience that PC gamers have. So obviously I'm on PC because you see me skating in gear that is not available in the vanilla version of the game. And if you've been following my channel and all the spot checks, then you definitely know that I play on PC. And something that I've seen expressed from the console gamers is they see the clothes, they see the stages, they see the that's like all the stuff, you know what I mean? When I pull up the stats menu and all that, and it's always a matter of, wow, I wish I could do that on console. And I'm like, bro, I wish you could too. Cause this makes the game so much better. And it's a shame that the console and PC experience are two completely different things. Like, yeah, we're all playing Skater XL, but the version of Skater XL I'm playing and the version of Skater XL that my homies on console are playing are not the same and that's a problem and it's not really I don't think it's a big what am I trying to say I don't think that it's a hard problem to solve I think the big thing that would make the game better for a lot of console players is difficulty settings so I'm skating Wallenberg and I'm just fluking down this thing like any trick I can think of, let's throw it down Wallenberg. Look at that nolly back here. That shit looks sick. This hard flip's about to look sick. The problem is, it's not challenging with these settings. There's things I can do. I can catch it. I can tweak it. I can make it look, you know, a certain way. But the actual performance. not too bad or not too hard so that in turn makes the game boring for a lot of people and that's really the main complaint I see from console gamers the game is boring like they can come in think of a line bust it out all right cool turn the game right back off and go do something else but give them a challenge make it harder and I guarantee you these fools will be sitting at these spots for an hour, hour and a half trying to film a line like they're out there in the streets. And definitely another thing outside of that is the ooh, the map situation. Now granted, I love the bit, uh, default maps. Easy Day High School is one of my favorite maps in the game. I can skate Easy Day High School no problem. But it's also nice to go skate Love Park. It's also nice to go skate LES. It's super nice to go skate El Sereno. Oh, that was bad. Console players don't get to do that. They get their little five base maps and these three seven maps and as much as I love LA Courthouse the most iconic spot in all the skateboarding there's gonna be people who play this game that have out no idea that this is a real world spot they're just gonna pop in here and be like yo this map is fucking small what am I there's nothing to do here and I feel all those concerns bro because there's nothing here to hook the gamer. Even something like in my mind, I think what would be perfect for this game is the ability to post your replays online, follow other players, look at their replays, play skate against them through the replay system. Shit. <laughs> Regular old multiplayer would be fantastic. Again, another thing available with the PC mod, which further drives a wedge in the community because that further 
deviates the experience the two communities are having, but it's something I think is necessary for the life of this game. If I can pop on and be like, yo, yo Richard, log on, let's play skate real quick, let's go to Wallenberg, let's see who Nolly backs heal this first, let's see who does Nolly back three or some anything, like, you know what I mean? Like, something, we need to unite the community. Even if we can't do it in terms of playing on the same maps, we can play on the same stats by adding difficulties. We can play together by adding multiplayer. We There's, there's ways to make this work. And I really hope and I honestly believe that Easy Day is going to address these issues. They know that the mod community exists because they support it. So they know what they're doing to enhance the game, to make the experience better. And I hope that they're taking those things, working with the developers, the mod makers, to make these things official so they can add them to the console versions of the game. Now, I understand that the console versions are going to have to go through Microsoft and Sony respectively to have or to add these things to the game. It's not like you can just, like the PC version, you just put it in but these things need to happen in order to unite the experience we need to keep the community as big as possible and grow the community as much as possible and right now they're on islands because console players are over here playing one version of skater xl and pc players are over here playing a completely different better version of skater xl and these guys are gonna leave if it gets nowhere closer to this. You know what I'm saying? So, I just hope and I honestly do believe that these concerns will be addressed and the experience for the two communities will be united so it can finally be one large digital skateboarding community. But, Anyway, in rant, <laughs> that's all I have for you guys today. Um, I appreciate you watching and listening to me complain. And I will see you guys soon. Peace. Mm-hmm.